So today's lesson was a very typical lesson that you'll see in Algebra 1 at Hinsdale South High School. We begin with a warm-up that we like to call the green, yellow, red. There's three problems and students do as much as they can in about three to five minutes, with green being the easiest and red being the hardest. And then we moved right on to our next activity. Um, I like to call it my favorite mistake, and it's basically my way of addressing the common misconceptions on the assessment from the day before. I graded it, I gave feedback, and then I gave them either a score that was a one, a two or a three. So during that game, we talked about the common mistakes that we saw in a very lighthearted manner. So after we did that, then we used that um, assessment scores. So I grouped students based on their score, and they were able to find a partner um, in that score that they also received. So if a student was maybe a number two, they started at level two. And the goal was then to get all the way to level four, which was that we like to call it um, mastery. So when students worked in partners, um, their goal was to collaborate, like agree on a final answer. And once they did, they went to the backboard. That was my answer key. So at that point, they checked their answer. If they had any mistakes, they went back to their desk and worked um, as a partner pair to try and figure out what that mistake might have been. Um, and if they were correct, they were good to go. Most of the time, like, we'll check each other's answers. And like, if we get wrong, we'll just go over it again, slow by like one by one. So in Algebra 1, we have students from all different backgrounds with all different ability levels. So for that reason, we value and really focus on differentiation in the mathematics classroom. So what that looks like is that um, red, yellow, green warm up. That's a perfect example. Students don't need to get to the red, but our higher achieving students will get there. So it completely depends on where they're at, how much they get done. And the expectation is not that they even get to the red, but it is a goal that every student is challenged, which is why we offer those different levels. I think it just makes you feel more confident knowing that you know the material and it makes it seem easy. I think it makes you feel like it starts you off at a regular base that you already know and then it works you towards like it pressures you towards the hardest. My main focus is that they are growing as individuals. They are learning the skills that they will continue to use every day for the rest of their lives. So in today's lesson, that consisted of collaborating with a partner, you know, working together. Can you problem solve this? Can you agree on a final answer? Um, so overall, I think they also had to self-regulate their learning, you know, that which consists of even just checking an answer and changing it based on what you think is the correct answer. So overall, just growing as individuals and making sure they're learning the skills that they can use every day of their lives.